Hello, good morning. Welcome to Read Bible with Me channel. Today I am going to talk with you the first divine character that should be added to our faith that is virtue. So let's start. What is virtue? As per the word of God, virtue has a broad meaning. In Peter 2 Peter 1 3, God's virtue is mentioned as divine power. Let me read that portion. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. So it's God's divine power rescued mankind from the bondage of sin or he paved way for the mankind from the bondage of sin by, and by faith in Lord Jesus Christ one can relieve from that bondage. What we have received by God's divine power? One, he has given to us everything that we need to live always and two he has given all that is needed for godliness he has given us great and precious promises he has given all these blessings to develop divine character but peter is saying if you want or if you have a thirst to develop this divine character what you have to do you have to escape from the corruption of this world all these promises will help us to or remains us when worldly worldly desires try to influence us it is for this we want virtue the virtue to rely on the promises of god to escape from the disgusting things of this world from delicacies from lustrous ambitions from the impurities of this world from its fraud and from its battle remember peter is writing this epistle to the believers hmm? that we can I uh, know that from by reading 2 Peter 1 1 Simon Peter a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ to those who have obtained a faith those to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours in the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ so Peter is writing this epistle for believers so dear believers there is a possibility to be attracted to the worldly desires so Peter is saying you have to depend on the divine power so Peter is saying we have to depend on the divine power to have the virtue to escape from world's lust. Then only we can develop the divine character. Then we will be appreciated in God's kingdom. But if we are more interested in this worldly, worldly activities, it means the activities that God will not take into account, we will be ashamed in the God's kingdom. Peter wrote virtue as the first divine character that should be added to faith. Once you have entered into this faith, you must have the virtue to put the faith into practice. If you read different versions of the Bible, we understand that virtue is the moral character, moral excellence. That is, supplement your faith with moral character character make every effort to add to your faith excellence and or uh, in other version and another version in your faith supply moral excellence so we have to execute virtue not only in preaching or spreading gospel but also in putting morality in our conduct so virtue has a broad practice it is chastity courage self-control morality excellence in morals that is the quantity of doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong in the obedience and love towards god and his commandments or doctrines so virtue is to remain valiantly for the divine truth the courage to work forwardly for the glory of god even in adverse situations to have virtue in putting oneself under control in passions desires lustrous ambitions that occurs in our one's mind against the will of god even in difficult situations or in unbelievers company these are the uh, these three what are the sorts of virtue so during jesus christ's life in this world he expressed god's love morality perfectness chastity righteousness etc under the obedience to god the father so virtue in practical sense that is we what what are the virtues in practical sense we should develop so virtue in practical sense is one we should develop god's attributes virtuously in our christian character we should remove covetousness malpractice wickedness and lead a holy life and we should have a modest life appropriate and decent interesting behavior in communication as per the word of god a woman of virtue is a godly woman and she will be virtuous in church and family in her obedience and love towards god and his words that we can read from first corinthians 11 4 5 first timothy 2 9 10 2 peter 3 1 to 5 and first corinthians 14 34 first corinthians 11 4 and 5 